In the summer of 1919, four men went on a camping trip in Michigan's Upper Peninsula. Those four men were Henry Ford, Thomas Edison, Harvey Firestone, and John Burroughs. Oh, they also brought along Ford's cousin-in-law, a real estate agent named Edward Kingsford. Ford had sold one million Model Ts, which had wooden components, so he needed more lumber. He purchased 313,000 acres in Michigan's UP, built a sawmill in a town there named Kingsford. It's still there today. Soon they realized they had an abundance of scrap wood left over and Ford didn't like wasting it. The answer came from a University of Oregon chemist, Orrin Stafford, who invented the charcoal briquette. Edison designed the briquette factory and Kingsford ran it. Originally, they only sold to commercial smokehouses, but supply outpaced demand. So by the 1930s, Ford dealerships were offering picnic kits with charcoal and portable grills, pushing the link between automobiles and outdoor adventure. The Depression wasn't the best time to launch this, however, but following World War II with returning veterans, a population boom in the suburbs, and the 1952 invention of the Weber grill, well, backyard grilling was here to stay. Today, let's grill. Two and a half pound flank steak, covered in olive oil, sprinkled in onion powder, three cloves of garlic, salt and pepper, juice of one lime. Flip it over once or twice, get lime juice on both sides. It can set out for now, needless to say, get your charcoal started. One and a half pounds of petite red potatoes. I'm gonna have them so they cook a little quicker. You could parboil them as well, going into some aluminum foil. Olive oil, salt and pepper, one diced onion, and I don't use pre-mix as much, but this seemed fitting. Kingsford, garlic and herbs. Healthy chimney of white charcoal. I went with hickory flavored. We're gonna put this up on the top shelf, just off indirect. Flip it every five to 10 minutes. We're probably looking at 20, 25 minutes to get it where we want it. Grill safe pan, three cobs of corn. We're gonna take it off the cob. Cocktail or cherry tomatoes will work as well. I'm gonna quarter them. Quarter of a red onion diced. Olive oil, plenty of salt and pepper, crushed red pepper, thyme. Flip your potatoes and this goes indirect as well. These are gonna go in here eventually, but let's roast it first, keep an eye on it. One more thing before we get to that steak, chimichurri. Healthy handful of cilantro. Same with parsley. Quarter of a red onion. Three cloves of garlic. Some red pepper flakes. Salt and pepper. Quarter cup of red wine vinegar, half a cup of olive oil, hit it. Flip those potatoes, stir that corn and tomato. These are looking beautiful. Flip them, dice up that red pepper, couple tablespoons of butter. And what we've all been waiting for, at least I have, two and a half pound hunk of meat. I don't wanna overcook it. I'm probably looking at like four to five minutes aside. Five minutes on the dot. After we flip it, a little more sea salt, lime, Five minutes later, let's pull it. Cover it in aluminum foil, give it 10 to 15 minutes, pull your corn and potatoes and get a plate. No one here to shoot my final shot tonight. We'll do it live. Meat and potatoes, backyard grilling. Oh yeah.